Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Code Vein. Um, little update, I did go and fix my character model. I had another one made, um, so that it wasn't so much of an eyesore to look at while playing. Um, so I, I hope you guys enjoy that a little bit. Um, Looking a bit tired. Your friend is probably lonely in a place right. like this. Oh, right, okay. Um, <clears throat> I do apologize for not having the... Um, Halloween variant of um, Rainbow Six up. I had a really hard time actually going through and making it um, due to the fact that I would need like two hours more than I actually have to work on it. Um, just because of how long it takes to edit the videos and to cut them down and it's, it's just taking a lot longer than I had expected. And, um, God, where did she go? I, is that what I'm looking for right now? Maybe. But, um, so that one will be out hopefully in the next few days. I don't want to be, I don't want it to be too late after Halloween. Um, but, you know, I, I'm trying. Uh, <clears throat> I also apologize for failing to, uh, do the live stream last night. That is on me. Like, holy, I just... Uh, messed up timing. Your friend is probably lonely in a place like this. I'll have to say hello to her sometime. I'm not tired. What am I doing wrong? Um. Oh. Did it's I talk to you? Warm here. Everyone wants to know more about me. Okay. I don't know the answer to any of their questions. All I can remember is that my name is Eo, and that my place Eo. is by your okay. side. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I don't, I don't know how to get out of here. I don't remember. Um, but we were supposed to do a live stream last night, and I just, I completely forgot. Like, that is wholeheartedly my bad. Um, so I, you know, I, I must apologize for that. You're an unfamiliar face. Well, yeah. It's none of my business. Anyway, I'm Coco. A merchant trade. I don't know what I'm. What am I missing? Can I? Can I move forward, please? Looking a bit tired. We can I, talk again later. You know what? We're gonna chill. I will see you guys in a moment once I figure out what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so we are in a hot spring. I'm not sure if this is where we were supposed to go, but this is where I have gone. Um. So we're gonna look around and see what we can see, I guess. You got some big box and all that junk. <laughs> I'm just hoping that that little hot spring trip is gonna let me forward the story, maybe? A bit oh, come the fuck on. <clears throat> okay, looks like we're pausing again so I can try and figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, now do I talk to him? The ability to draw strength from experiencing memories. Okay, that was annoying. Revitalize blood springs. I figured it out. I just... What the shit? Sorry. <coughs> can I get a sample of your blood? You know, yes. Just much. take it. I'm, I'm not even gonna stand here and listen to you, results. you annoying little bastard. Because it turns out that it was an itty bitty little fucking conversation option that I had that it wasn't told that I had that I had to like go through four other different conversation options just to fucking get to <clears throat> to to finally let him be like, oh hey. Can I get a sample of your blood? Like, bitch, just... What the fuck? I hate that. I hate that shit. I've done what I can to look into the revenants of blood types that differ from those of humans. You don't say that, but... Blood has no specific See, a vampire or abilities, you blood tests? The fact that you have look no them both, I think. <laughs> ...might be due to your being what we call a void type. You were able like, to gain another revenant's power through yeah, yeah. Supposing you are a void um, I'm going to give my yeah, you're gonna give me your blood. Should yeah, this was all the thing. Yeah, so they're all vampires, but they're revenants due to some sort of parasite that I've gathered from like the loading screens called BOR or boar parasites. I don't know. It's a really weird take on vampires. Did you go visit Morasame and Coco? They should be ready to do business now. Weapons and you should take it. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, fucking. Okay, I'm gonna run around with these dudes for a second and I'll be right back. That was just a whole lot of Remember nothing. That scene we witnessed it at the did vestige. not have to happen. 
That kind of stuff happens every day here. Yeah. Sola has taken most of the humans who survived under his protection. So revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. Okay. But... Well, nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs and started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silva created by levying and distributing blood beads won't last much longer either. Oh well, yeah, obviously. The world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about blood beads. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. And you need me to fix that. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. If you could help us... Dude, what if I just said no? Well... Like, what if that was an option? We'll drawn into a bitter conflict. I'm already here, Still, bud. The truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. You know, I was really hoping this game would be a little more, like, action-packed and whatnot. But, like, damn, this is a lot of slow pace. Thanks. Chitter chatter. Maybe you're just not there yet. Maybe. So, it's a done deal. Like, I guess I don't well, mind all the story aspects. No one. Um. One of us. They're really fun. Like, I really, I, I do like them. But this one is just full of it. It's interesting. Yakumo Shinonome. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you in action. Can I take you with me? That'd be cool if I could take you with me into the, into, into missions and shit. Because I don't want to do that crap alone. Let's get right into it. Here's no. what's going on. <laughs> You're so cute. We're studying blood beads care. and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. <clears throat> this is interesting. I hope we've made a few discoveries. First of all. We found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. Huh. Getting close to the and name. So far on. as we can determine, every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. So it's all coming from one specific also, spot. After comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly <coughs> comprised of the same substances. That's one would assume. Coming the, the blood words, beads come from them. We can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. And we think that means mm -hmm. there must be a source somewhere. A kind of headwaters for the blood beads. Now or that we have organism. you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Cool, can I go get right. some shit now? You know, I got color corrector in my eye. We want to check out the old city ruins oh, no. first. Sorry for the rush, but we should head out as soon as you're ready. Okay, okay, I gotta head out now. All right, that shit's dope. I love heading out. Yeah, dude, I know how to use missile. I've been using missile. I played Dark Souls. I know what I'm doing. Curious, though. It was easier to explore, but now so even though they must have left coordinates leaked, if you find any maps of the we'll take care of the rest. Ooh. Ah. Your life Dang, I don't have the maps yet. Okay, whatever. <coughs> okay, so one thing I definitely want to do is get the maps for, um, for him and train the area underground entrance further and go into... Oh, I don't. Know. I don't even know if it offers it. Okay, so as I was saying, um, I, I don't know where I left off, which kind of sucks. Farming for the haze. Um, um, but um, don't hesitate to. Uh, he he offers these like little underground map areas or whatever that you basically just farm haze. I don't know if I. If everyone heard about that, because part of it was being done. Oh, okay, that just takes me back down. Um, part of that was being talked about during a loading screen, because my dumbass forgot that their loading screens are forever and a day long. So, 
Yeah. My bad. Um. This yeah, just, lead to the old city. That's awesome. I don't. I don't know. You guys are weird. Full of exposition. Not that I'm against it, but like. Man, give me a chance to explore and learn on my own. On my way. You know? I would hope so. Um. But yeah, it's just. It's a really nice way to farm. I mean, I, I can go back to the first area and farm that a bit and become brokenly overpowered, which is something I love doing in these kinds of games Dark Souls and. Uh. Other games like that. Okay, hold up. Cause it just—I don't know—it's satisfying, you know. Cause you can never become so overpowered that you're untouchable. Um, without spending hours upon hours upon air hours of um. I am. Yeah, of, of like in of like real life. Shit to try and pull that off. So you. It, it creates a feeling of like. The little guys are cannon fodder, you know? You run through them, but you find bosses, you find big dudes, and then that's when it's, you know, it's intense, it's a fight, it's a battle for your life. <clears throat> and that's what I, huh? Oh, well, yeah, character's life. But it just, I don't know, it, 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 it's nice, it's intense, I love it. That settles it. You are absolutely vital to our operation. Thanks, bud. You kind of said that already, but thanks. Ahead, but my asthma is blocking the way forward. Do you think you could clear it for us again? Yeah, dude. I don't mind. I have done. Thank you. No more Deloitte at all this episode. No two springs, <laughs> thanks to past expeditions. Let's go have a look at them. Yes, please. The territory um, up ahead is teeming with the lost. Watch yourself. It is a weird, uh, like, conflicted version of doing, like, the, the Dark Souls stream. Because with this, I, I'm faced with a lot of story in some episodes. And then little to literally none in others, and it's just a hack and slash. And I have no idea if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um... I'm loving it because it's an interesting story and it's some fun gameplay I like the mechanics uh, how, how you fight the weapons you get and all that good junk but um I just I don't, I don't know how it's sitting for everyone else I guess and for whatever reason people don't want to talk about it. um the other until oblivion we're dropping anyways I'm gonna head back to the thing you've only got 10 seconds left um so I, I don't know how people think of it but i don't know i'm finding it interesting it, it's definitely making things interesting um for me but with that being said i am out of time so i um uh, i i'm gonna cut it off here i'm sorry if you guys are looking more for uh like the hack and slash hopefully that'll be next episode for bloodbane but um as always what? uh or code vein, whatever. Oh, whatever. It's early. Um, but as always, I hope you guys have a good day, night, or whatever time it is.